हेलो एवरी वन आई एम अक्षत अग्रवाल थर्ड ईयर अंडर ग्रेजुएट इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मटीरियल साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग करेंटली आई एम वर्किंग फ्रॉम होम एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग इंटर्न एट वॉलमार्ट लैब्स इंडिया Firstly, I'll give you a brief introduction about my acads. Like I had average acads and a CPR of 7.7. I had planned to stay back in the summers of my second year to work on a project, but due to personal reasons, I had to stay back at my home, so I didn't have any projects. Initially, I was pretty confused whether I wanted to intern in my departmental core or finance or software or what not. So I decided I contacted the seniors who had interned in these various fields. to ask them more about these fields and also to know the various resources required to prepare in these fields after i got that i started to prepare for quite a few of them like for finance i read from bloomberg and investopedia i prepared probability statistics online i did puzzles from brainstiller and i practiced general aptitude from pariksha.com i didn't do much of the coding during the summers but one thing i felt is like my Uh, preparation lacked direction and like consistency like there were 3 to 4 days i would work on probability statistics then for a week i didn't work on it but one thing i did well during the summers was to work on my resume i feel there are two major advantages on working on your resume the first obviously being you get a good presentable resume and the second is like you know your resume inside out So I had made around 10 to 15 drafts before my final resume and I had contacted around 5 to 6 seniors to help me proofread my resume and each of them helped me improve my resume with the every uh, with each and every draft that I had made with their suggestions. The initial days were filled with life and vigor. Like you could see the CCs the NCLs being filled with students throughout the night. to give the exams and the lhcs being filled with students in the formals during the weekends to give their interviews but soon as the time passed and the semester load began to increase the process had become tiresome and monotonous for most of us like coming to my personal internship season experience i would say like frankly speaking i wasn't aiming for many of the day one companies and as i had expected i wasn't shortlisted for any of them After that I was applying to almost all the companies I was eligible for but I was not able to make it to the interview stages mainly because of my poor performance in the coding section of these test also like most of the companies had coding as a part of the screening test so I realized I had to improve upon it I realized that like the level of questions asked in these coding tests weren't that tough like basically they tested our speed and practice to code basic problems So I started to practice basic coding problems from Geeks for Geeks and Interview Bit to improve on my coding skills. Mastercard was the first company I was shortlisted for. The company had come for three profiles. I gave the test for the quality testing engineer profile. The test consisted of two questions. The first question had like we had to write uh, a number of test cases for a problem. and in the second question i had to select like there were around 20 test cases given and i had to select the test cases i felt were appropriate for the problem it was a sort of test in which you couldn't tell like how the test went and luckily i was selected for my first interview but the interview didn't go anything as i had planned after the initial introduction the interviewer had asked me a question to write the test cases for an online flight booking site like i don't know whether it was the first interview experience like i couldn't think of much but then with the help of the interviewer i wrote a few test cases but missed quite a few important ones then he asked me like two questions two puzzles one regarding probability one a general puzzle and a question regarding implementation of stack and queue but i think he had made up his mind after the first question and i was rejected after the first round The second company for which I was shortlisted for interviews was Walmart Labs. The test for it consisted of around 23 to 24 MCQ questions out of which range from topics like prop stats then there was data structures few questions on time complexity and then there was general aptitude and a decent level coding test. The test went on well and I was shortlisted for the interviews. The interview procedure of Walmart Labs was a bit different like they had a single round of interview but half the students were called for an hr interview and other half were called for a technical interview i was called for an hr interview 
in the interview after the initial introduction the interviewer had given me a, a standard puzzle regarding the minimum number of weights like i knew the answer to the question but i directly didn't answer the question rather i guided him through my approach similarly after that he gave me another puzzle which i couldn't answer directly but i gave him my approach to the solution and he seemed satisfied then he glanced through my resume and we talked a bit about my position of responsibility as the deputy contingent leader in inter id sports contingent he asked me regarding my roles responsibilities and the challenges i faced during that role after that i realized that the conversation had be, uh, become a bit casual he started to ask me about my personal life family and all that stuff he then he asked me certain questions about like basic hr questions like why walmart and why we should hire you i answered them decently well because i had prepared them overall i came out of the room satisfied and by the afternoon i had received the final selection mail from walmart labs india during internships most companies come for software profiles among these companies some want only csc electrical and mth branch students and these are open only for the three department companies other than that which are open to all generally do not differentiate between students on the basis of their departments coming to the selection criteria of these companies i would say it is pretty straight forward like firstly doing well in the coding test then in the interviews having a previous project or internship in these fields could prove useful though not necessary in internship questions regarding stack queue linked list code, uh, sorting algorithms then there are questions regarding like binary tree binary search trees which are taught in the course data structures and algorithm anyone who has not done this course can easily learn all these things online from geeks for geeks the procedure of the coding test for most of the companies was much like the ese 101 lab many of the companies conducted their test on the hacker rank platform on the hacker rank platform like you were given a problem statement then there was a place for you to code and you were given marks on the basis of the number of test cases you had passed as i had mentioned before after the initial week the level of the question asked in these tests was not that tough to compare it i would say it was comparable to the level of question asked in ese 101 lab a good starting point for the students would be to practice and brush up on the concepts taught in ese 101 and then they could practice from interview bit and geeks for geeks to improve upon their coding skills Firstly one must use the summers well like the summer time i feel is sufficient in mode to prepare well for the internship second like many of you would be doing some intern or some courses on courser or some other website should focus more on the learning and the application part of these things rather than the certificates or the stipend you receive from them because ultimately it's your knowledge that is going to help you out during the interviews thirdly like as i had stated before all of you must work on your resumes and not just copy paste and edit your friends one fourth i feel that the soft skills are one of the most underrated aspects of the internship process like ultimately it's what you know you have to express and explain it to the person sitting in front of you so if any one of you feel that they are not so fluent or convenient in speaking english they should practice the mock interview with their friends family members or the ones con uh, conducted by the institute bodies Next I would like to say that you shouldn't be hesitant in terms of contacting your seniors as most of them would be ready to help you out. Finally I would like to say that the internship process is consisted of like it contains some amount of luck and one should respect that. One should be patient and not be bogged down by the initial rejections because I had seen people who were rejected earlier finally landing up at good internships later on. With this we come to the end of the video. I would like to thank counseling service for giving me this opportunity to connect to you all the preparation resources which i had mentioned in the video are given in the link below thank you all for connecting and watching the video and all the best guys